And today we're going to go ahead and talk about learning how to air out gloves. There's a lot of different ways to actually air out gloves, but the main thing that I see with the majority of students is even though they make tools for airing out gloves and they make tools for moisture, a lot of times people actually don't use them. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you just a couple different styles of gloves here. We have a few different types of gloves. All the companies are great companies. Uh, the last thing I want to do is get in trouble from any of these companies because all these gloves are very, very good gloves. But I'm just going to go ahead and show you a couple different things uh, with gloves that actually just help them air out by themselves where you don't even have to do anything with them. Right here, uh, we got a couple different styles of glove that uh, if you kind of see how it's formatted, even when it's open here like that, or even when you close it, it has kind of a, a circle to it. So right off the bat, if you just kind of have it laying on the ground, it's gonna air out by itself. Now don't get me wrong, a fan will help, but uh, this glove, you could actually just literally have it just soaking wet with sweat and just lay it down and it'll still uh, pretty much air itself out. Same thing with this one, you just kind of see how it's built. Uh, you just lay that glove down when it's all sweaty, it'll kind of air itself out. Now these gloves, once again, very good companies, very good companies, but you see the format of this particular glove right here how it is, it's not going to air out very easy. There's all kinds of tricks to learn how to open up the glove, maybe put a little pencil in there, wedge things in there to actually go ahead and make it open up, but the problem is people just don't do that. Um, I see people all the time, they say they're going to do that, but they just never do that. So you see a glove that's formatted like this, uh, you just kind of set it down, it's not going to air out very good. Same thing with this one. You kind of see how this glove is. Look how tight that is. That glove, if it's all sweaty, you just set it down, it's not going to air out very good either. So, real simple. Uh, things to kind of look for if you're lazy with airing out your gloves. When you buy gloves, you want to kind of see this type of format. See this glove, even when it's tight, you know, still very, very open. It'll kind of air out by itself. Of course, a fan, little hair dryers, glove dogs, things like that help, but people just don't use those very often. So when you're uh, looking to buy a glove, uh, if you're working out pretty hard, sweat quite a bit, you're kind of looking at this type of format right here, a circular format right here like that. That'll actually air itself out. Here, kind of a flat format. Once again, very good glove. Nothing wrong with a glove. If you actually take care of equipment and have the extra time to go ahead and take care of it, you can go ahead, open a glove up like this, wedge something in it so it stays open and airs out. Uh, but once again, people don't really do that. So, things to look for here, kind of a circular type of glove. It'll actually air itself out. Right here, flat type of glove, really won't air itself out. So. If you're one of those guys that actually works out quite a bit, sweats and doesn't take care of your equipment, when you kind of uh, have it air out by yourself, you're kind of looking for this type of format of glove. And the uh, last thing I want to do is make any of these companies upset with me. All these gloves are great, great gloves, great gloves. But uh, certain people kind of deserve, or certain people actually kind of uh, need certain gloves. If you don't really take care of stuff, you really need this type of glove. If you're pretty good at taking care of stuff, yeah, this type of glove's fine for you.